What's up guys, MacHD here and yes, for this is going on really well. You enjoyed my La Liga BVA team of the season prediction, so I'm going to give you the Serie A one. Obviously the Premier League one is out, some very tasty players in there. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. Starting off in goals, to be honest, there's only one real keeper that you could put in for Serie A uh, and that is Buffon. He has been absolutely brilliant this season and he deserves uh, to be in the team of the season and we've seen that he's carried them uh, you know he saved them quite a bit in the uh, Champions League as well now next up is Bonucci this guy has had yet another good season he got uh, one in form there during the year and to be fair to him he you know he um, he did he's oh no he got two in form sorry apologies but um, that uh, that says a lot you know if a player is getting an in form it means that he is good and he deserves to be in this team uh he's defensively he has been good for them and um he has been starting above Barzagli beside Cialini there then Cialini of course he's always going to be there he is probably the best defender in the Serie A and uh, he's just such a solid solid player he puts his body in the line every game and uh, totally deserved then next up is a Polish player uh, from Torino who's had a really good season it is Gl Glick I Apologies for the pronunciation, but he got two in forms this season. Looks to be a really, really good player. I mean, he's got 88 defending on that guy there and 85 physical. And your know, pace isn't obviously a strong point, but if I found when I use Vidic as well, Vidic got an in form. Um, he was very, very good to use and uh, very difficult to beat uh, because of that physicality. Uh, then to the midfield, uh, he signed for Roma and it's been a pretty good signing for him from Cagliari. Uh, Raja Nano Legan. Again, apologies for the pronunciations, but um, he has had a really good season. He's really shown that he is a top class player from Belgium, obviously Belgium producing so many good talents now. And I mean, look at that card and you can imagine that going up. Uh, he is a really well-rounded player and deserves that. The other centre defensive mid I've gone for is Paul Pogba. He's had yet another amazing season, obviously. A lot of speculation about if he's going to be there next season. And um, yeah, he's just an absolute beast. Look at those stats, 91 physical. Can you imagine what that's going to be like? That could be up to 92, 93. He's just so well-rounded. We have over 80 pace. He is going to be deadly. And if he isn't, you can convert him up to a striker like him. Uh, the possibilities are scary. Then on the right hand side, Napoli are represented here in Jose Callejon. Um, he's had a good enough season, you know. It was a big decision for him to leave Real Madrid there a few years ago, and it's starting to pay off for the young player. And um, you yeah, know, I'm happy to see him starting to come into his own. I mean, 91 pace, you know, he is going to be a very, very good player if he gets the team of season on the right hand side there. And on the left hand side, we do go for a player who shouldn't really be playing on the left hand side, but um, just because he deserves to be here is Kendry Varela, Antonio Kendry Varela. This guy is an absolutely brilliant player and um, he's got a class beard as well now and uh, yeah look at those stats 86 pace 83 shooting 83 passing 87 dribbling those are all going to be going up when you consider it and he will be deadly there on the right hand side the center attacking mid there's only one real player here and it is carlos tevez he has been so 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 important for uh juventus this season and he's shown us all that he is still a world-class striker he's obviously in the Copa america squad now i mean just look at those stats he's gonna have about 90 pace he's gonna have 93 94 shooting 90 plus dribbling 89 physical i mean he is absolutely insane it's gonna be a very sought after card the other striker is gonzalo higoin he's had an absolutely brilliant year with napoli and a lot of people are saying he might be going to Arsenal or something he got he's a 90 89 rated in form i mean look at the stats in that card absolutely spectacular from gonzalo higoin he also got a number of man of the matches he has been a key player for them this season and he's proven it why and he deserves to be in the team of the season then he's already gotten one but i mean he has been a breakthrough player this season it is paolo Dybala, and uh, he is just absolutely spectacular he's got that um fucking it's the team of the season most consistent never informed thing and i mean look at that so that is my uh this is my Serie A team of the season. Some absolutely amazing players. Can you imagine what Buffon would be like? Cellini, Pogba. Pogba's going to be insane. Tevez, Higuain, Dybala again. I mean, Callion with the pace. It is an absolutely spectacular team. Uh, I haven't gone into any of the subs because... Uh, I don't watch it Serie A that much, but I do keep an eye on it. And uh, they definitely deserve to be... This is my starting in 11. The only 
he'll play you could have any sort of thing about his gilk but um he has had a good season and can't complain about that anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>